Hi everyone, um, today we're going to talk about why you should transcribe music by ear. We're also going to talk about some workflow things in FL Studio that I use when I transcribe. Um, so first of all, the reason why you want to transcribe music by ear is that you're going to learn intuitively how notes fits together. Uh, also you're going to learn a couple of tricks here and there like how to make your music rise in specific places, like how to make scale notes rise, and how to make your music interesting, like how to make code transitions and stuff like that. Uh, also, you're going to learn how to make great melodies, and you're going to learn how to make those melodies fit uh, a chord progression, right? So there's a lot of benefits uh, by transcribing. And uh, yeah, so let's go to the workflow things. So first of all, what you can do, this is uh, a cover I'm working on, uh, a very well-known piece, uh, Final Fantasy III. All right, so if you want to figure out the BPM, which is the first thing you should do, you can either tap it in, uh, so you right click here and you click tap and then you listen to the audio and you like count. And then you just can't uh, tap it in like you count count it in and tap basically. Um, and you should really count the beats and each measure because if you don't do that you can't be certain that it's in 4-4 or 3-4 or whatever uh, it is. Like it can be in 3-4, it can be in 4-4, it can be in 12-8 uh, and stuff like that. So now I know this track is sits between like 105 somewhere there. Um, but sometimes, you know, some notes could be too fast uh, and, and the actual audio, like, it's kind of hard to figure out. So you can double click the audio file, and then you can put it on Stretch Pro, and then you can um, well, like stretch it how, how much you want. Like say you want to figure out these two bars and can cut the audio. So what you can do is drag it out. All right. Suddenly, the track is a lot slower. Now, obviously, you're going to hear some artifacts, but it becomes a lot easier to figure out the notes. And what you can do is use a piano roll. I usually transcribe by using a piano, like any piano, even FL keys is good enough for this. And let's say Let's say, well, if you look at the auto file, you're going to know that. And this is 15, right? Now, we knew beforehand that I did stretch it out two bars. So that means that when I figure it out by ear, let's imagine this is... I'm not transcribing here. So let's say the melody goes like this, all right? So what you can do after you figure it out is use this arrow sliders or whatever you want to call those, the arrow keys. And you can just drag it back to bars. And it's going to be in its original tempo. All right. I do that sometimes. And obviously, it depends on how much I drag it out. Like, let's say I want to figure out four bars. 
So I'll cut it like this and I just drag it out four bars, right? like this. This isn't like the actual melody. Again. So it should be like this, right? So that's one way to do it. Another cool thing you can actually do, and I start using this more lately, is you can actually set the time to project tempo. And the mode I use always, by the way, is Stretch Pro. Um, you can also just use Stretch. And Generic is pretty good. Just mess around with that. Um, so yeah, if you set it to Project Tempo, which is a great way, and you already know the BPM of the song, and you figured that part out, you can just slow it down here on the actual BPM of the... So if I slow it down to like 50... The great way, the great thing with this is that when I go back to the piano roll and I try to figure out everything, I don't have to do the cumbersome thing where you know, where I first uh, do notes that are too long and then have to like shrink them again. Instead, I just figure out the notes like this, and then I put it back on 105 in this case, and you know, it's gonna be good. Now, sometimes, or well, a lot of times, you might have figured out the tempo, not like exactly, but pretty close. So maybe, or if it's a live audio, so maybe like beat 15 is on beat, but then beat 16 is on beat, but not fully, like maybe here something is off. Or here something is off. Uh, what you can do is go to click on the audio file, um, then just uh, edit in time warper, which brings out new time. Then you can actually look here if it's in time. Now I know by heart that this isn't in time uh, everywhere because I did mess something up, I don't remember, but then here I did put it in time almost perfectly. Um, this is basically, I wanted to figure out a part of the song here somewhere, I don't remember exactly where, but that's one trick you can use. So. You can like drag this here, drag this here. Obviously you need to listen to it too. So for example, maybe here. This doesn't sound fine. So maybe it's more like this. Now, what this does is that when you want to figure it out by piano, the notes sync, syncs up. Like sometimes when you transcribe, it can be a little bit, you can be, get tricked by the delay between the actual audio file and the notes. So sometimes you can transcribe things wrong, especially if you're not like really good by transcribing by air. Um, so stuff like that can happen. Um, well, I'm gonna see if I can like give you an example. Um, the, 
the notes are like playing simultaneously together. It doesn't have a delay, at least not a big one. And you know, it becomes pretty obvious if something is way off. Like if I put the notes like this, do something like I don't know. It becomes way obvious. Like oh wait, that sounds weird with the audio. Um, something is wrong. Um, yeah, and that's all for this video. I hope I see you in the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.